Hello everyone, this is Peter Lin from Yarbird Entertainment. Uh, we just have a quick few updates for you today. First off, we are trying the SM7B microphone here. So apparently this is very good for podcasting and all kinds of vocal stuff. So uh, if you like it, just let us know. Uh, I think it sounds pretty good. Or at least it makes me sound better. I don't know. All right, so first thing is we have this coronavirus kind of taking a hold of the gig economy. Now, whether you believe that it's as dangerous as they say, or you think it's just a big hype or some kind of government conspiracy, uh, we do know that it is affecting a lot of our lives. If I were to describe the way I live my life right now, it's pretty much 100% freelance. So when things cancel, it's kind of hard to uh, make up that money and you know for a good reason look we don't want to spread the virus around you know it's dangerous people die from it it makes sense for sure but there's been a huge cancellation of tours festivals uh big events we just had personally had a big event canceled on us uh that was supposed to take place in canada so you know it just continues again it's all understandable we just need to figure out some different revenue streams. Now, usually with designers, it seems like instead of going and working for clients in person, then they just go ahead and do online design. So what is our alternative? So recently I've been getting into just some online lessons. There's a few places you can look uh, that will offer video chat for free. Uh, usually if you have an iPhone, FaceTime is appropriate. In the case that you don't have an iPhone or your student doesn't have an iPhone, what you can do is you can use Zoom, which is a video conferencing kind of app. So Zoom is free and easy to use. I highly suggest if you're going to have online lessons that you use that app if the FaceTime is not available to you. It's also a very important time to start budgeting and start thinking about how you can save some money during this crisis. Usually I think about collecting my acorns during the winter, but uh, I guess you gotta do it now too. I usually take these times where the work might be a little dry or there's some opportunities that have been missed uh, to actually just create new opportunities uh, to start emailing people, um, you know, start thinking about some big projects that you may have on the back burner and you wanna bring it to life. This is a good time to do it. So PSA, Wash your hands, wash your bags, wash anything that you take outside the house because uh, the last thing you want is to spread the virus yourself. We got some upcoming interviews. Uh, one of them is with Mike Lee and we'll be releasing that video this Friday on March 12th. And next week we have Frank Green coming for an interview. And uh, besides being an excellent trumpet player, he's also known to be kind of like a coach to other musicians to help out with their career. So young musicians should definitely take note of that. The following week, we're actually going to have my neighbor, Maxime Roach, come over and do an interview. We're very excited uh, for her to join us. As you know, uh, she is Max Roach's daughter. But um, she's an accomplished musician herself, and she's definitely going to bring a lot of insight to the jazz business. So definitely stay tuned for that. So besides conducting interviews, we're also going to be interviewed. So Abel and I will be on Antoinette Montague's radio show that she does every Saturday. So make sure you tune in on Saturday, March 21st from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. It's on WHCR 90.3 FM, which is through the City College of New York. Another thing that we're trying to do here is the thousand sub challenge. So what does that mean? We are actually looking to get a thousand subscribers. And if that happens, then we will host this big networking event either here in New Jersey, New York City, invite our special guest and just have a good time, a big party for everyone. I'm currently working on a video on how to self-release an album. Um, so we're going to go through the budgeting process, recording process, and talk about online distributions and maybe some advertising. On April 17th, we're going to have our very first Yarbrough Entertainment public concert. Uh, it's going to be from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m., two sets, and it's going to feature Alex Parchment and his band. It's actually his CD release. 
going to be located at the Headroom, which is located at 150 Bay Street, Jersey City. Uh, it's pretty close to the Grove Street Station. I want to thank everyone for supporting us so far. Uh, definitely please tell a friend about these videos. Uh, we're putting out this content for you guys so that you have the resources you need to take a hold of your own business. I think this video would be very helpful for those that are either thinking of going to college for music or those that are getting out of music college and trying to think about the next steps that needs to happen to accelerate their career. So until next time, this is Peter Lin from Yardbird Entertainment. And uh, just look out for that video on Friday with that interview with Mike Lee.